Hi everyone, this is uh, Yossi Steinblatt from skyrocket-success.com Today I'm going to share with you uh, 21 searching tips you didn't know that Google can do. Obviously uh, those tips can help you uh, work with Google on searching different kind of things and uh, help you to improve your work using Google. So uh, let's get started with the first tip here. Google can be your phone book. If you type your first and last name, uh, city and state, Google will provide you with lists of phone numbers and addresses on top of the results. This works for businesses details as well. And Google can act as a res res reverse directory if you have just a phone number. Enter it and all the matches will appear in the results. Let's take a look at this. Uh, things here. Um, okay, if we go uh, here is Google. Let's try something uh, generic here, like John Houston. Try someone maybe in Los Angeles. California uh, yeah I had a small mistake here Los Angeles California yes there is a man with this number uh, you can see the details here the phone number the address and he's from Los Angeles obviously and um, this works, as I said before, if, you write, if we write just the uh, phone number. Uh, 3-3-3-7-3-3-4-4-0-5. And we can get uh, the reversed version of... Um, of the results, here is the name, here is the telephone, the address, and uh, this is thanks to Google who help us searching uh, as a phone book and get these results. All right, let's go to our next tip here, number two. Google can be your calculator. Enter a mathematical calculation and Google will do it for you. You can use equations in English words like 2 plus 2, 12 divided by 3. You can use numbers and symbols all together or a combination of both like this example 10 millions, 10 million times pi or 15% of 6 and you go, you'll get a result similar to this one here. Okay, I'll say 10 million times pi million, yes, and here's the results. And you can see the icon of a small calculate, calculator here that will tell you that uh, Google was using its calculator to give you uh, this result. All right, let's head back to our next um, next uh, tip here, number three. Shortening is good, but longer is better. Now, uh, Google is designed to provide high quality results even to queries with one or two keywords, so you can do a short searches, but adding few more words can provide a better result. And here's our example. While you are uh, collecting information about registration to universities or colleges, just add the word registration after the institute name to get a better results. Now, uh, let's take an example uh, here. Um, if we write, for instance, um, Harvard University registration there we have a ready for us so 
we're getting directly to the registration of Howard University. So this can uh, save us uh, a lot of time on searching uh, things like registrations or enrollment. So this is as well a good tip for those who want to get um, better results for their searching. Okay, number four, we use quotation marks when accuracy is important. If you click a term with a quotation mark, you'll get much more accurate results related to your term. If you omit them, you'll get a variety of unrelated pages. Now, uh, lately I've seen that uh, Google has improved their search mechanism so, so well, so um, it's less and less uh, common to use it uh, now. It's not, sorry, less and less necessary to use it right now, but uh, it's good to bear that in mind that if you want um, an accurate, uh, accurate uh, results, you can use quotation marks and see if you get uh, better results. All right, tip number five. Google can be your dictionary. If you type define, colon, and then a phrase, Google will provide you fast definition to it. Now, this is really a cool thing. Uh, you can see here, uh, let's try one, define, colon, and then uh, let's take something here, which is my favorite, leadership. Okay, if you find leadership, you'll get, um, the first result will be uh, with this book icon here. And if you press on the link, you'll get um, one page of a summary of definition to leadership on the web. Well, most of it will be on uh, Wikipedia or, uh, 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 yeah, most of them will be from Wikipedia. And uh, this is a good, uh, another good mechanism that uh, Google is providing to us if we want to use a uh, dictionary over the web. Okay, let's get back to our sixth tip here. There is no difference between uppercase letters and lowercase letters. You can save time and typos and don't put an effort to use the shift key. It's unnecessary. If you, for example, uh, Google on George Washington or George Washington uh, with an uppercase letters or lowercase letters, you'll get the same results. And also, Google ignores typical words like the, and, is, of, and to when you use them in searches without quotation marks. So adding them won't change or improve your results. Uh, your search results uh, uh, pages. So uh, this is about this. Number seven, forget about plurals. Google search automatically all the roots of the English words, so there's no need in different searches for dance, dances, and dancing, for example. You can simply type one of the words and Google will take care of the rest and provide you all the results in one list. Let's take a look at this. Okay, back to Google. Let's write dances. And you can see uh, we have dances here, we have dance, again dance, dances. So you can see that Google take care of, of it for us. 